lives in a very small condo, but she knows how to make every inch look magazine ready. Patrick, I am so excited to show you what I've done with my small space. Well, it's beautiful now, but what was it like before? It was a boring white box. Okay. My couch was way too big, the walls were white, the blinds were boring, and I feel like now it just has life and it's so much prettier. So where did you start transforming your space? I actually started with these beautiful plum colored silk drapes that add life and richness to the space. Now, what about furniture placement? Because it is a challenge in here. It's so tight when you come in the front door. Yeah, as you can see, I have no foil. So what I did was I added a pendant light right here in front of the front door that just makes a small foyer that's really welcoming. Now, what about your couch? My couch was way too big for the space. It was something I had from another apartment. So I changed it up. I got this one, which is a lot more compact. Nice. And as you can see, I, I don't have space here for a coffee table. Right. It would just block the whole room. So what I've done is used a cluster of smaller tables, which are perfect for your cocktail or your cup of tea, but don't block the room. It's a great tip. And speaking of the floor down here, I love this great rug. Thank Beautiful. you. I love this rug too, and it really works with the rest of the colors in the room. Um, but I, like you know, in a, in a rental space, you really can't change big things like broad though, right. but you can bring in a rug with lots of personality that you can roll up when you move and take it with you. Now, Stephanie, in this tiny space, there's not really room for a big dining table, is there? No, not at all. And my dilemma was, where do you put a table? The builder thought I should put it right here because he put his light plug right there. Okay. In my opinion, that would completely block the room. So what I did was I swagged this gorgeous pendant right here, bought a table with a small proportion. I only need two chairs, and I added these mirrors to give me a lot more dimension. I love it. Good job. Thank you. Well, it's always interesting when the builder decides where your dining room should be. <laughs> it didn't work for you. Yeah. Not you at all. You created your own dining nook, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're going to go through three ways that you can actually create your own dining nook when you don't have that designated <laughs> space. So many people living in small spaces now, whether it's a house or a condo. How many square feet is your place? It's around 700 square feet. Okay, so yeah. not a ton of room for, uh, for playing around there. Not at all. So let's start with space number one. Yes. We've got this nice console table yeah. in the foyer. Yep. People are coming over for dinner. What, what do, do you, you do? do? I know, and you don't want to limit yourself. I mean, even though you live in a small space, you still want to be able to entertain. Right. I think that's a, an important part of living. So we have this really cute console table, yes. which we're going to now transform into a dining table. Okay, so, so we got to take everything take off. off. These pretty things. Here goes to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now this table is from visitor parking, as are all the other tables in, the, in this segment. Okay. And this one is so popular, they can't keep it in the store. So here's what we do. We flip it out. Well, this is why. All of a sudden, <laughs> these legs flip around. Okay. Do I need to do my side yep, too? Yeah, you do your side. And I'm going to pair it with these beautiful these um, folding chairs that you can keep in your storage locker or in a closet or anywhere oh, that you have a little bit of space. That is. So it goes right from folding to chair that you can use for your guests. Exactly. And all of a sudden we have a table that's big enough for four to six, six guests. Okay. And beautiful. we'll just dress it with a couple little things. And I mean, this is the sort of thing. This is the sort of thing you can do ten minutes before they come over, oh, right? Yeah, this is really easy. You can do it for the holidays, you can do it for a dinner party, you can do it for wine and cheese, whatever you feel like. Very nice. There you go. And now it's party Done. time. Okay, party time. so example number that's one, that's beautiful. One. Second one, this one I really love. This one really transforms. So as you can see, we set it for the dinner party scenario yes. for guests, but then it changes and it's really just like an ironing board. So there's a little lever below here. So we've had and dinner. It goes down. We're all having fun. Now it's time for desserts and coffee. And, and it goes down to your, and coffee, it goes down to your coffee table. So you can put this in front of your TV. You can have it just as your coffee table every day and then change it into your dining table whenever you want. Very cool. And I love the fact that you've used these, you know, little sort of miniature ottomans. Yeah, absolutely. Because those can go in any room at any time and you pull them out and they become your dining room chairs exactly. when you need them, right? Exactly. They're occasional seating for any occasion. Yeah. And then, yeah, dining chairs. Okay, well, Magic. I'm going to love to see how you turn that little table into a dining okay. room. Let's this see one, this one. I need your help on. So All right. Again, from visitor parking, this one is fantastic. I, I would use it as a side table in your living room. Okay. It's got these incredible uh, industrial style design. Gorgeous table. But guess what happens? So now we crank it, and I'm, I'm going to need you to do that. So okay. We'll I'll do the cranking. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this looks really cute in my little dress. <laughs> cranking up the table. So, so this cranks all up. the way up to regular it table height. It goes all the way up to regular table height. And, and I'm going to bring in some bar stools. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> 
we're doing great. Is that good enough? Okay, I don't like, okay, that's good. That's okay, great. We're gonna add these bar stools. And we, you could just take these from your kitchen. If you've yep. got a breakfast nook there, you take them and put them here. From your kitchen island. Oh, and look it's ready that. to go. We're ready for tea. Isn't that great? That is lovely. We have a little light here to add some ambiance. Yes. Enough, enough seating for two, or you could add actually, you could add an extra two seats. Well, here's what I say: when you don't have a lot of space, you have to be much more creative. You really, and really. And you've do. done that with your place in such an incredible way. Pops of color. Yeah. And you've got the furniture that fits, and you've used your noggin, haven't yes. you, to make the space? I so think great you have job. To. Thank you, you very much. You've got to do it. Well, it's like the common theme during today's show is uh, Stephanie's uh, uh, condo. So we're going back there right now. We're going to see her beautiful bedroom. Stephanie, I love this bedroom. It looks like something out of a magazine. Thank you. I am a stylist, actually. So the inspiration from this room came from a trip I took to Harbor Island in the Bahamas, where they use a lot of lush color matched with bright white. So I found this gorgeous, tropical-feeling yellow wallpaper as my starting off point Beautiful. and matched it with very neutral, simple bedding to so that I wouldn't add any extra busyness. And what other colors have you used in here then? This beautiful, subtle, subtle blue in the drapery and in the bedding accessories, which I think works perfectly with the yellow. Stephanie, I love what you've done with your cabinetry here. Thank you. This is where I display some of my most precious things. I put touches of nature in when I can. I have a harmonious palette, and mm -hmm. here's a stylus trick for you. Okay. As you can see, I have flipped my books over so that the writing and the colors on the spines is hidden, and it doesn't add any more visual clutter to the room. Okay. And what about some of the other touches you've done in here? This chair was is a lot different now than it was. It was an antique that I found at a local store, which we had spray-painted white, and I added this beautiful fabric to match the rest of the room. Good job and lighting is always a key in a room. Super key. This fixture I did spend a little bit of money on, which I can take with me at the end, but I just love it. It's big and beautiful and has this gorgeous crystal pendant. Well, it's worth it to splurge in some areas. Yes, Patrick, absolutely. I did splurge in another area. Take a look at my closet system. Wow, This nice. is brand new, and it really feels like a retail display. And what girl doesn't like to take a look at her shoes and pretty things whenever she wants? Absolutely. Before this was a bit of a, a mess, it was, there was two doors, it was really hard to get into. So I put in this system, I am so organized now, and I absolutely love it. Steph, great job, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much.